the sunglitz vibe of California, and Hollywood is turning cloudy for Prince Harry as he begins to regret his move to America with Meghan Markle. During his first six months in the States, Harry found everything new and exciting, but the glamour is definitely wearing off, royal author Tom Quinn claimed. However big your garden and Harry and Meghan's garden at Montecito is enormous, there's only so much you can do when you have no practical skills and you have always paid people to cook, clean and garden for you, he added. This follows reports of the pair's four-year-plus attempt to reign supreme in Hollywood has reportedly failed. In her never-ending bid to become a Hollywood alister, the Duchess of Sussex may have to settle for D-list notoriety. The royal rebels thought, we'll be at the center of this sort of royal court, and everyone will come to see us, royal expert Richard Eden dished. But it never seems to be working out like that. This insight about the Sussex Hollywood freeze-out picking up steam again comes after the royal rebels attempt to transition into influencers and health and wellness gurus with Meghan's American Riviera Orchard. Moving from the structured world of British royalty to the competitive and often unpredictable entertainment industry presented hurdles to the pair, even with Meghan's past acting experience. Their shift involves not only adjusting to different roles and public expectations but also competing with established actors and personalities already entrenched in Hollywood. Furthermore, the public's perception of their move from royalty to entertainment figures adds another layer of complexity, with their motives and abilities frequently questioned. The Duke's nomination for the Pat Tillman Award at the Espies led to a whirlwind of reactions from both fans and detractors of the rebel Duke. This led showbiz and royal expert Kinsey Schofield to share, Harry left a life of service to chase fame, to chase money in Hollywood. Pat Tillman was a man that truly lived a life of service, which is what Harry and Meghan promised us when they left the British royal family, she said. So a lot of people are having a hard time putting these two men in the same category. She continued, I mean, I think that the Invictus Games is an incredible cause but it's a cause, if we're going to be honest, that was created under the royal family umbrella this is not Prince Harry's and Prince Harry's alone.